making a brunch dish which can be prepared using any leftovers that you might have in your fridge this morning. Yes, Tara Walker from East Coast Cookery School joins me for my first cooking segment. Really excited Big about moment, this morning. Be gentle with her, Tara. Okay. <laughs> I could smell it. If we only had smell vision here, it is just gorgeous. What are you cooking up a storm today, Tara? So to this is, well, I love brunch um, and I obviously work quite a lot of weekends or whatever. So having Sunday morning off is a real treat for me. Um, and I love just, you know, throwing a few things together and seeing what I come up with. So that's how this recipe originated. Basically, um, had a bit of a fridge forage. So you literally left over. Uh, open, uh, opened the fridge yes. and went, oh, God, yeah. oh, I'm going to do it this lot. Exactly, like basically. Oh, um, so I, I happen to, obviously, because we do a lot of cookery classes as well, I always have bits chopped up and ready that we didn't use or whatever. Um, so uh, this is actually a new recipe from my new book, which is coming out after Christmas. Well, it hasn't been tested on members of the public. It's basically it has been tested on me and Tommy. It, it, it has been tested on humans. Uh, as well. yeah, no, my family, my husband and my daughter <laughs> liked it. So that was good enough for me. Um, so I have some red onion gone in there. Right. And I have some red pepper gone oh. in as well. And now some cherry tomatoes. I, I love the fact that you've kind of got everything from the fridge that, you know, I am that type of person. I need to whip up something that's whatever's in front of me. I'm not very creative. So this is for us. Yes, it us is. people um, that I can know, do that. I know, that's what I was thinking. There's always a bit of leftover rice, isn't there? Um, especially if people have yeah. a curry on a Saturday sure. night yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So it's a nice way to use it up. So this and is okay some... reheats rice, is it? Yes. So basically, that's the important so thing with uh, rice is to cool it quickly if you know you're going to have a little bit right. left over, or reheat it very thoroughly. Now, obviously, in this situation, it's going to be really thoroughly reheated because it's going into a frying pan, you know. But yeah, it, yeah. Is, it is a more sort of dangerous food stuff to have lying around, so just make sure you reheat it very thoroughly. Okay, Once so you finish, get in the fridge and then... Exactly, and I wouldn't leave it lying around for too long, you know. I wouldn't yeah. have it for days and days, really just the next I'm day or like, so. Sort of, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I have to have that. If it doesn't snap yeah. too yeah. bad, it goes in, all yeah. right. Yeah. Um, um, what temperature are you heating this at? Kind of medium, I would say, you know. Okay. Like, I have a little bit of a sizzle going on, and this is where I'm adding the flavour now. So I have some cumin, some turmeric, and some um, ground coriander going in. It's basically a kind of a curried rice. Exactly. I love, sort of. I love spices. Um, and you probably have noticed over the, all the mm. times I've been here, there's all, often quite a lot of spices going on. But I find it's such a good way to get flavour into your food without adding excess butter, yeah. oil, um, you know, cream, all those heavy things. It's nice so kind of healthy. Cumin, coriander, ground coriander mm. now. Yes, yeah. ground coriander, turmeric. And cumin, yes. Right. Of course, so, this is great food as well for today on a Sunday, just when you're chilling out, you're feeling a bit knackered after exactly. the week. Exactly. Just to get knackered. you back. Knackered. knackered. That's a good uh, word to, to, <laughs> to cover what we're doing. a good one, actually, if you were feeling a bit delicate as well, yeah, the spices yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything. Indeed. So here, this was something else that happened up in my fridge that day, some um, flat cap mushrooms. So I've just popped a little bit of butter on them and into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Well, 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and I have some in already, just to show you. And literally, I've just popped the butter on them, and that's them coming out. So oh, they just gorgeous. give a nice little yeah. bit of extra sort of body to the dish. And they're full of flavour, aren't they? Full of flavour. They yeah. really are. So now, now that my rice and my um, tomatoes and everything are coated in my spices, I'm just going to break an egg into the pan. A couple of oh, eggs, nice. as many as you want. So, so therefore this is really it. like random stuff. It is. It is. <laughs> I could definitely make this. It has not okay. been tested on the public. I haven't done it on any of my classes. Tara, I could definitely do this. Back. For somebody that's not the best cook, this definitely is one for me. It's just yeah. some angel delight. <laughs> <laughs> so Salt, nice. sugar. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and actually, do you know what I love on, on my brunch as well, especially if you are feeling a little bit delicate, something spicy. So I have Tabasco and I have jalapeno peppers as well, right. chili peppers to go on at the end. Oh, like rocket so, fuel. Brilliant. Yeah. I love it. So now, let me just These get These are the spicy ones, are they? Yeah, they are, yeah. Mm. And we go through yeah, loads of those Mary's. in our house. <laughs> For the Bloody Marys. Mm. Oof. Yes, best That's accompanied like, to the Bloody Marys. Just Mary. flare your nostrils, Tommy. Yeah. And just to speed us up a little bit, I'm going to pop this. I wouldn't normally do it just because we're don't have that much time. Right. I'm going to pop this under the grill just to help the top of the egg. So, so normally you just let the eggs kind of cook <laughs> exactly, away. Exactly, just on the pan there, but just to thing. kind of speed us up a little bit. And then I'm going to add a nice little bit of flat leaf parsley onto my mushrooms because I think they really benefit from a little bit of freshness going onto them. Yeah. Gorgeous. At the end. Mm. And how are we doing for time, guys? Are we okay with the eggs you got, there? you got a minute. You've got okay, a minute, so yeah. We're ready to serve up once the eggs are cooked. Well, you got, you got 30 seconds then. I need 30 seconds to eat it. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've one egg that's almost ready. So, I'll show you. <laughs> so I'll just pop the rice mixture on. 
It nice. smells incredible. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, and really nice and fresh kind of as well. I do like spicy food, I have to say. It's my Achilles heel. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, we, only, we only have one egg at the moment. Yeah, our egg is a little, yeah. I'm going to pop Ooh, back yeah. under the grill for the other one. Right. I'll tell you what. The rice, the the rice is, is, is good to go. So somebody, somebody needs to try the mushroom. I'll try the rice. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Now, of course, the mushrooms are great, aren't they? And they're good value as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they, they are. are. They really are. Very nice. We don't need knife. <laughs> 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 we, we, we have knives and water. Don't, 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 the random contents mm. of Tara's fridge yes. <laughs> on a plate and what delicious. What plate yeah, yeah, I can do this later, I know. Cheers. Right up next, this man sits down with a one-on-one -on -one with political heavyweight Alistair Campbell. Stay with us.